All right, everyone. Welcome back. Um, the last time we left off, we were just having conversations with everyone. We found out Dr. Chalk was is actually the doctor on the, on the New Normandy. So, yeah, a lot of people from the Alliance die. Fact, it seems that way a lot. From what I've been hearing, talking to all the crew, a lot of the a lot of Alliance members defected over to to um. Lost my train of thought. A lot of the Alliance members defected to Cerberus <clears throat> after the events of the first game. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why. Okay, um, so I haven't seen, oh, Miranda has her own office. Okay, we'll talk to her and then we'll talk to Garrus last. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. You're very cocky. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And she reminds me of Black Widow. It's my job to make Although sure Black Widow she... is not as overconfident as she is. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly, and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced for a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and, well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my abilities. Is this the same cocky line? You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a f it's the reason. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. What the hell is this room over here? Can't even go inside. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. What exactly are your duties, aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Of course, Commander. I like to exhaust all conversation options. Let's talk to the homie Garrus. What the hell is he doing in the... What's this called again? The battery room? Um, main battery. Oh. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we joined up with them sooner. 
We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. How do those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidomis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sedona's out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sedona's is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedona's. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Shepard, need me for something? What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. The Cerberus crewman giving so, you trouble. I think was that ship that attacked Normandy two years ago in the beginning of the game? Points, I'm assuming maybe that was a collector anyway. ship? Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calculations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, so... That's everyone on the crew. And I've searched everywhere on the ship. So back to deck two and uh head back to Omega. No messages for you, Commander. Omega, Omega, we are back. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm receiving quarantine. Let's start with clinic in the slums of Omega. Oh, she's about to tell me anyways. 
All right. I have also run searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Works for me. I was about to say, does the game not realize that Archangel is in my squad? But then Garrus uh, answered. Anyways, let's see how we get to the the slums. Transport. Entrance to the afterlife. Blah, blah, blah. Aria. Hold on, hold on. Let's check that journal again. It's a quarantine zone and search for. Okay. Quarantine. Yeah, I don't know, but I did remember Come on, let me in. that we have something to give Arya. Come on, let me in. That was easy. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to be the brandy she's looking for. Got yeah, here. I wonder if you can get drunk. Like just sit there, keep taking shots. That's what I'm trying to do. I forgot how we get up there. Oh, she's right here. Oops. I got something for you, Aria. What do you need? This data pad was on one of the mercs that was after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? Uh, I'll, I'll look into it. Thanks for the heads up, Shepard. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. I'm looking for Morton Solis. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard he was trying... I always liked Morton. He's as... Just, if you really need to find him... Take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee. Thanks for the yes. information. He says take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. Aria has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? What's the job, dude? What Aria has that done. was a complete accident. I saw he had like a name, and like an actual name. I clicked X. A Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. What's the blood pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know, he can't keep his damn mouth shut. Some people don't appreciate his stories, especially when he dips into non-fiction. What's Arya's interest in protecting him? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle not up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? People like Arya don't do things without a damn good reason. I want to hear it. Fine, but I didn't tell you this, got me? If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on her payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs. Likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done, and you'll get your food. I'll be back when the job is done. I'll be back. Good luck.
to the patriarchs downstairs. How the hell did we get down there? See if we can find some stairs. See this? Humans are a plight with galactic fury. You, sir, you are a plight. Okay. You, and you, and you. Protheans cast off the lesser races. The Krogan, the Vorja, and the humans. And so they will. Explorer ships have reported seeing vessels of an unknown type, but whose silhouette strongly resembles ancient Arachnid ship profiles. The few ships sighted have been small scouting vessels that rapidly retreated. Why would I tell him anything? Not trust you. Ted Gavorn, we know his tricks. We not kill anyone today. There seem to be a lot of Borja on Omega. <laughs> Go away. Talk too much. Gavorn's thoughts get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gavorn's tricks. We leave. Who the hell is Gavron? Walking around in this place makes me sick. People still dying. The strong still exploiting the weak. Nothing I did here even made a dent. Is this a quarantine zone? Krogan, is this who Yeah, we finally found his ass. I didn't know. You said he had close family. They'll just want revenge. Kill the family first. Then you'll get angry and come at you stupid. And then you kill him. I don't think I know you, human. I'm the Patriarch. Arius Patriarch. What do you want? Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. Well, let me guess. He hired those guys to attack him. Perhaps Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. Here's an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. And so your name grows, while I remain an old man who lets others fight his battle. No. You remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command. Not just Arya's trophy. Well, you could be. You could be my Trent, fighting for my honor. If you would do this for me, I would be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again. She going in. She's busting it down. All right, we gotta find the bad guys. Thugs. Nah, 
Uh, now's not the time for a lap dance. This place, <clears throat> excuse me, is incredibly big, bro. Stuck on something. A polite automated society or a boom for the station's depressed labor market. Where the hell are these thugs? He's down there. Maybe we already passed him. Out of our way, human. You here for Patriarch? What if we are? You gonna do something about it? Patriarch sent us. Said to do whatever it takes. Your Patriarch's crap? I wasn't aware the old map had one. You should have done your homework. <laughs> that guy's just chilling in the back. Damn, that was quick. I thought we were going to be in an actual shootout and their bodies are gone. Let's go talk to Mr. Patriarch over here. Kill them all. Everyone knows that the Patriarch is not to be crossed. Thanks to you, Arya may think of me as more than a trophy. A real advisor, maybe. Or even a threat. Take care, Patriarch. For the first time, I like that name. By the way, be careful with Arya. She will approve of what you've done, I think. But not of you altering the balance of Omega. I think it reminds her too much of herself. Well, she's no match for me. I'm riding Shepard. So, if we ever throw down hands, if it ever comes to that, she about to get a rude, rude awakening. So, I believe Arya said we had to take a shuttle to get to the quarantine zone. Just say her kid. Hopefully, I misheard that. Goddamn drunk. Come on, let me in. Are you expecting me? Transport. Gavorn. Captain Gavorn, head of the Vorchet Task Force. Got something to report? So this is a guy they thought that we were with. There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. What are they planning? Vorcha? Plan? <laughs> They're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. Vorcha? They're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. What's your job here exactly? Keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. I'll just be going. Keep moving. You've let ten people in while I've been standing. Omega, what a pisshole. At least it keeps you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. I feel like I need a shower afterward, in addition to normal decontamination. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, 
I guess clearly we're not supposed to take a transport shuttle there. We'll just have to keep running around until we find it. Ken. Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this He's from forsaken rock. Tallies. People. I buy a lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well, you seem like a decent person, but you can't breathe a word of it to Harry. Of course. Then we have a deal. Maybe I'll at least sell something to you. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way, but I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. Let's give him a thousand credits. A thousand we got credits. more than enough. Get out of here. I thank you. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. Stay out of trouble, kid. Take it right now. Thank you again. Just gave some stranger a thousand credits, but it's not like we need. Look, I got freaking. 184,500. All he needed was a thousand, man. Why not help him out? Lady, the plague has oh, the we whole found it. Quarantine. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. There's a Solarian named Morton Solus in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened the clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Listen, you're stuck here until this quarantine is over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me but not them? You son of a bitch. <laughs> you don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. <laughs> a quarantine zone for a plague that kills Turians. Why don't we ever go anywhere nice? Shit. A plague that kills Turians. What the fuck? Sorry, bro. You gotta stay it's back. It's safer to stick with a squad who's immune to the plague. It's your call, Shepard. If you need me, I'm not going to let a cough keep me back. Yeah, not gonna let you die, homie. I already let you get hurt once. It was my stupid ass mistake.
Anyways, we're at that 30 minute mark. So when we return, we will go look for the, the, um, the doctor. Uh, and try to see if we can straighten out the disc, the district as well. I'll see you guys in the next part. Peace.